Hey, good Friday morning. Meteorologist Doug Hetty, I wanted to update you on what exactly is going on with our pattern. It stinks, to be straight out there. Um, if you want winter weather, which I do, I'm a huge snow fan. I like any type of winter weather, and we got shafted last year, and it's not much better this year. We're at a total of just 2.5 inches of snow for the season. We average 16 inches. We had only two inches last year. So if you add up our total over the past two years, we're at 4.5 inches and we should be at 32 inches. So it's been crazy. And it's all due to the pattern, the recurring pattern, which is going on. We're just in a bad pattern. So let me show you exactly what we are seeing right now. Here's our next storm system, which is going to roll in on Saturday. But ahead of it, what we are seeing is... A ridge you can see how the jet stream kind of cuts up and then cuts down this ridge is really gonna warm us up as we head into today and also into tomorrow then this system which is right on track we're about 56.5 days 57 day cycle meaning today's weather is equivalent to what we had 56 to 57 days ago the same storm systems are rolling through so here's the system that's going to roll through late Saturday into Sunday. It's not going to do a lot for us. It's going to give us a few showers and it's going to cool us down. Then we got to watch this little cutoff low. When I say cutoff, the jet stream's way up here. And then this guy kind of gets stuck down here. He's going to kick out as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday, but he's pretty far south. We may be on the northern edge of a little rain, maybe a little bit of snow by next uh, Wednesday into Thursday, but I think most of it is going to stay south of the region. Then look what happens again. Here comes the ridge. So we stay fairly warm. We are looking at now February 17th. So we're going out quite a ways. And then finally, for the second half of the month, we start to get some storm systems in. But the big question is, are we going to have any cold air to give us any winter weather? Our chances just aren't that great across the region. So I'm kind of pushing winter aside now, and I'm going to start focusing on uh, what we're going to get as we head into the spring months. We know what the pattern is. We know when storm systems are going to kick out. So I can tell you exactly when it's going to rain two, three months in advance. I'm just going to start focusing on... Are we going to have severe weather? Are we going to have big severe weather events? So that's what I'm going to work on as we work through the next week or so. Let me go all the way back to today. I'm going to scroll this down for you. Let's look at the surface. This is pretty crazy, actually. Um, our temperatures are going to be so warm as we head through the next couple days. I'm going to go to the U.S. look. Scroll this down. All right, so let's go into Friday, or today, in the afternoon. Our temperatures, the models are actually undercutting how warm it's going to be. We should make it near 70 degrees. We're going to stay warm again as we head into Saturday. I think most areas are going to make it mid to upper 70s. So it's going to be so much warmer as we work through the next two days. And then the colder air is going to work in as we head into Sunday and Monday. You can see Monday's afternoon highs are only going to be into the mid-40s across the region. So again, we stay with this awful pattern that we are in. I do see a couple chances that we could see at least some winter weather as we head late February. After that point in time, we're pretty much done. Then we move right into the spring season with chances for thunderstorms and, of course, severe weather, which works in. So make sure you look below this video and it shows you my long range forecast when I'm expecting week by week by week for at least the next couple months. I hope you have a great Friday and make sure you have a great weekend as well.